Hello and welcome to Thunderbird Blades. My name's Neil and today I'm excited to explore this kick-ass cutter from Kaiser, the Cormorant by Yu Dong, Kaiser's Chief Marketing Officer and Head of R&D. For those not in the know, Yu also goes by the name of Dr. EDC. And trust me, this doctor has designed the perfect prescription to treat your digit fidgets. So the knife's namesake, Cormorant, is derived directly from the Latin words Corvus Marinus, which means sea raven. That's right, folks, this bad boy is named after a type of bird. Well, at least I think it is. To be honest, I couldn't dig up any info directly connecting the knife to the species. So I'm going to wing it and say that that's where the name came from. Cormorants can typically be described as having black and white feathers, long thin necks, hooked bills and webbed feet. They're excellent divers and can propel themselves down to depths of 150 feet to catch fish. And looking at the photo of the cormorant in my opening montage, it's not hard to see where the inspiration for this knife came from. Alright, enough with the ornithology lesson. Let's dive in and take a walk around the merchandise. The cormorant, if you can find one, is priced around 119 bucks. The business end of the knife is rocking a unique looking 3.25 inch modified clip point blade cut from S35VN. It's flat ground, has a finger choil, a large thumb hole and a ton of jimping and a beautiful satin finish. The show side is sporting Kaiser's logo and on the flip side Dr. EDC's brand. It's super sharp and thin behind the edge and tapers up to a thickness of 0.12 inches at the spine so it's nice and slicey and should handle general EDC tasks with ease. The blade is perfectly centered straight out of the box. Kaiser's QC in my experience has always been top notch. The action on the Cormorant is classic Kaiser. It's silky smooth, makes a satisfying metallic sound, and there's also a sense of um, precision about it, like a well-engineered machine. And while we're on the topic of actuation, it would be a miss for me not to talk about the knife's high fidget factor. It's off the scale. This is the most fidget-friendly knife I have ever owned. It's the holy trinity of blade deployment, front flipper, flipper tab, and a thumb hole for spidey flicks in slow rolls. The knife has it all, it's flipping awesome. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, it does. The Cormorant also comes with a button lock and a drop shuddy blade. You can play all day with this bad boy and not get bored. Well done Kaiser. Moving on down the knife, we have these graphic black and white G10 scales sitting on top of skeletonized recessed liners. Now for full disclosure, I love the look of these scales. I think they're bold, beautiful and help differentiate the knife but I suspect this design will be polarizing. You'll either love them or hate them. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, and the graphic cutouts and the texture on the black overlays provides good grippage. At the back end of the merch, we have dual polished standoffs and a recessed bed for a left-hand carry pocket clip configuration. More on that in a second. On the flip side, we have a loop over deep carry pocket clip sporting the knife's name. It's super deep carry, has a recessed foot and is fully reversible, so it's good news for goofy flipsters. Okay, time for a quick size comparison. Let's bring in my customized Benchmade bug out and the recently reviewed Kaiser Shard. Check out my videos on these two knives, they're flipping awesome. Overall length on the Cormorant from tip to tail is 7.37 inches. Looking at this lineup, it's fair to say it sits squarely in that mid to large size category. And he's coming in at a fighting weight of three ounces, which for me is right in the Goldilocks zone for a knife of this size. All right, so the ergos on the Cormorant are phenomenal. It's super comfortable in hand, there are no hot spots, and I can get a full four finger grip on the scales. Gets better though. By using the finger choil, my grip moves forward and my thumb naturally shifts onto the crown of the blade. If I want to choke up further, I can slide my thumb forward utilizing the swedge ramp for even more control. Another thing I really appreciate about this knife is the access channel for the thumb hole. It really helps you lock in your grip. 
Okay, final thoughts. The Cormorant is kick-ass. It's fidget-flipping awesomeness wrapped up with bold, striking graphics. The action is excellent, the blade looks brilliant, and offers a boatload of utility. In my opinion, Kaiser is killing it. It's great to see them innovate and experiment with new ideas. This particular aesthetic might not be everyone's cup of tea, but if you can get past it, a wonderful knife awaits you. And you know what? The colour scheme isn't half bad either. <coughs> Thunder Rib Blades. All right, that's it for today. If you like the video and want to see more, please click the like and subscribe buttons. If you think this sucks, you're always welcome to click that dislike button twice. Thanks so much for your time. Stay safe. And as always, keep flipping awesome knives.